becomes more and more difficult to anticipate what all of the different moves are. If there's just one set of exchanges, right? If you and I enter into uh, some sort of contract and um, it looks like the currency could only move in one direction, up or down, then things are pretty simple. But if, by me betting that the currency is going to go up, it actually does go up, or conversely, and this would be the example of the subprime crisis, if people who did look at the mortgages, and the mortgages were uh, collateralized, uh, I'm sorry, securitized, that means they were bundled together, and then they were collateralized, um, that means that there was a certain amount of each of those mortgages that was put together. And one of the things that was put together in, in something called the mortgage-backed security was the likelihood that people would default on their mortgage. And this was something that turned out not to be so difficult to calculate because if you had people who were getting into mortgages that had a very low initial interest rate, that's called an adjustable rate mortgage, and, and they didn't have a, uh, they had ninja, no income, no assets, and no job, then someone could say, and they did, uh, you, this person, or this group of people with these attributes will be able to pay this mortgage for about two years. And after that, they won't. <laughs> so, what I can do is I can combine this likelihood of people not being able to pay their mortgage with other groups of mortgages with a very different default rate. People who are very unlikely to default based on my estimation of their income. And what I can then do is actually, and this is what Goldman Sachs did, actually bet, or one could say hedge, or put out insurance policies to say, you know what, when we look at this information, it really becomes apparent that these mortgages are going to fail. And this is sort of one of the remarkable things then, that the same thing that would have created stability in managing that risk creates positions that are not only at odds with each other, but become impossible to measure one to the other. Right? That is to say, if everybody is always anticipating what everyone else is going to do, then rather than having what's called transparency, right, the ability to say, ah yes, these are the trends, and I'm going to be able to see whether or not those trends uh, are legible to me or not, the trends become less and less legible. But of course, that condition which is called uncertainty, right? Uncertainty is that which you cannot anticipate. Risk is a measure of a departure or a difference from what you might expect. And so this is, this is interesting because this certainly would apply both in finance and in art, right? You start an art project, you don't know quite what's going to happen, you start working, right? and it's only and, and the moment of taking the risk is the suspension of some sort of capacity to say, ah, oh, yes, this is what's going to be, right? So there can be some sort of moment of encounter, of discovery, of invention, of creation, right? That would be a standard way of thinking of what risk is doing. But in that sense, both models of risk have to do with some departure from what might be expected. But that departure is, in a sense, measurable. Right? In the case of finance, it's measurable by the amount of money you make. In art, it's measurable by the fact that you made the artwork. Right? And maybe you, know, maybe you went to art school, uh, maybe you've done this before, maybe there have been other artists that would say, taking a risk in the arts is not the same as embracing uncertainty. Right? You've got to, you, you, know, you have chops, you have training, you have tools, you have means right, to make that thing happen. In the same way that someone who manages risk. So the issue becomes that at a certain point, the kind of um, density or collection of all of these people who are acting upon uh, possibilities of risk create a situation that rather than being transparent or legible or readable, becomes actually opaque. 